If you Google Logo Maker websites, you get a lot of different results. And every website is promising the dream of creating a logo with just a click of a button. And Logo Maker websites are indeed a super handy online tool that lets you create your own logo without the need of any graphic design skills whatsoever. Basically, you just go to the website and it guides you through the whole process. You can pick from loads of pre-made designs and then tweak them to your liking and make them your own. Like changing the colors, fonts or adding different icons. It's pretty cool because you can actually see how your ideas look in real time. And you don't have to start from scratch or pay a ton of money to a professional designer. And you don't have to download a fancy software either. You can do it all from your browser. It's perfect if you're starting a small business, need a logo for your blog, or just want to get creative and just have fun. You end up with a decent looking logo in just a few clicks. But out of the thousand of different options you can actually choose from, which website is the best? So while logo maker websites sound like a dream come true, they've got their downsides too. Imagine coming up with this really cool looking logo, you spend hours on actually creating it and then Boom, you suddenly see almost the identical one on someone else's business card or website. That's because these sites rely on templates and even though you can tweak them a little bit, there's a limit on how unique your design can actually end up being. Everyone is fishing from the same pond, so to speak. And there is an actual customization limit. These sites are great for basic designs, but if you got something really specific in mind or you want to nail a super unique brand vibe, you just might hit a wall. The tools can be pretty basic, so you're kind of boxed into what the website actually allows you to do. So yeah, while they're super convenient and budget friendly, logo maker websites have their limitations. But there is one website that is free to use, lets you choose from different templates, has a high amount of customization, works in every browser, and lets you create unique logos. And that's actually Canva. Canva is a super cool online design tool that is a little bit more than just the usual online logo maker. With it, you've got the whole arsenal of design features at your fingertips, from creating social media graphics to presentations, and yes, you could actually do logos in there as well. Comparing Canva with other logo maker websites like Luka or Logo.ai is a little bit like comparing a Swift army knife with just one single screwdriver. First up, Canva is insanely user-friendly. You don't need to be a tech genius or a graphic design guru to navigate it. It's got more or less this drag and drop interface that makes designing incredibly easy. Plus, it's packed with tons of different templates for pretty much everything you can imagine, which means you're not just stuck with basic logo design, you could actually create all sorts of visuals for your brand. Another really big plus is the resource that Canva actually offers. We're talking like a massive library of images, fonts, icons and illustrations. And there's always the possibility that you can upgrade to Canva Pro, which gives you even more goodies like access to premium stock photos and the ability to create and save your brand's color palette and fonts. It's pretty much like having a design studio at your own command, minus the studio price. And I mean, let's not forget about collaboration. Canva lets you work on designs with your team in real time. So if your business is actually growing and you start to hire more people, and you're trying to finalize a logo or a brochure or need input from others, everyone can actually jump in making suggestions and see changes as they happen. So yeah, while there are tons of logo maker websites out there and Canva is a little bit harder to pick up in the beginning, it brings so much more to the table. And once you've understood the basics, you can basically create everything you need for your business. In fact, let me just show you how easy it is to create a logo in Canva. Let's use the famous mountaineering brand North Face as an example and rebuild their logo. I'm using the desktop app here, which can be downloaded for free from their website but everything I'm doing here can also be done in the browser versions as well. There is a logo variation of the North Face logo where they have the white logo on a red background and I want to recreate that. Therefore, I'm going to change the background color to a red tone. Then I'm going over to the elements tab and under the shape section, I'm going to select the rectangle with the rounded corners. Now I want to get rid of the fill and add a border to it. Let's increase the weight and actually change the color of the border to white. Now let's increase the size a little bit more. 
And now I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Command C to actually copying it and then pasting it with Command V. I'm going to position it that it overlaps it completely and then increase the size. That looks good. Let's increase the roundness of the corner. Now let's repeat this process one more time. Copying the object, pasting it on top, letting it overlap completely. Increase the size so that we now have a similar distance between all of the objects. At the top we need some minor adjustments, something like that. And now we increase the roundness one more time. That looks good already. Now let's create a new shape, which is helping us to cover all the parts of the rectangle that we don't want to use for the actual North Face logo. And if I'm comparing it now to the original logo, it is a little bit too round. I need to reduce it, especially the first one needs to be reduced in the roundness of the corners a little bit more. By right clicking on the object and then go to layer, I can actually show all layers, which helps me to now move around and navigate through all of the different layers. Because I want to select the smallest one, but I cannot because it's overlapped by the other object. Therefore, I just need to change up this order to select everything I want. There we go, that looks good so far. Now let's add the North Face text. This is quite easy. I'm just going to the text tab on the left hand side and then I'm adding a text box. I could also add a header or a subheader if I want to. It doesn't really matter in that case, I'm going to adjust it and fine tune the typography anyway. So let's write the north face. Now we're aligning it to the right side. Obviously this is not the right font yet. The north face logo type is actually based on Helvetica, which we're going to use now. Now let's fine tune the typography a little bit. I added some weight to the typography by actually making it bold. And now I'm going to decrease the actual line spacing because the original typography is quite close together. Let's align this at the top and transform it. Now I'm adjusting it a little bit to get it proportionally right. Now let's change the color to white. And there we go, we rebuilt the North Face logo in just a couple of minutes in Canva. And obviously it's not one-to-one -one exactly the same as the original one, but it's a good showcase on how versatile Canva actually is and how it lets you alter different elements to your liking. If you have enjoyed the video and you thought the content was useful, please consider leaving a like or even subscribing. This really helps out a lot. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next one.